And I'm Hara Sakib. Today is May 29th, and this is our very last distant learning show of the year. Let's check out our some of our senior goodbyes. Well, today's our last day of being seniors, and before I leave, I wanted to say some thanks to the certain clubs that I were in. First off was NHS. Um, I'd like to thank for, be even though it was pretty tough making 10 hours of community service every term, but I'm very glad that I did it because I met a lot of new people and I went through and I met a lot of organizations that I'm happy to stay in contact with. And I, and it's all thanks to NHS, so I'm grateful for that. Also, CSF for um, letting me be able, to, I was very happy being able to tutor m many students. Um, it made me feel proud that, you know, I got through something and I'm helping other people. Same with Link Crew, um, being able to help the freshmen and trying to let them, you know, learn from middle, um, go from middle school to high school. It was something that I was very proud of. I was happy to put in information for them and let them know some easy way out to high school and, um, to make their lives a little bit easier as they go through it. Um, I would also like to thank, um, be grateful for being part of UNICEF as a VP, a lot of people who helped me through that club and helping our community through UNICEF. I hope that in the future, the people who are taking over will also do really great things for the community and let other people know how great the program UNICEF is. Thank you, Jeremiah, for helping me in the club of UNICEF, but not only that, but in general through high school. You have always been there and all the problems that I've had, you've quickly tried to find a way to fix it and you listened to me and, you know, we've shared a lot of things together and I feel like it was always one-sided because you always helped me, but I could barely help you with anything. So thank you, thank you for always being there. I must say, um, although I, I was a treasurer for that club and although I didn't get to really do much and we were just starting many, many ideas that were left incomplete, but I hope the people from next year, you know, start off what we, I mean, finish off what we had started already. Um, cause I really, really think that MSA would have, we had a lot of great ideas and it would go really, really far. Um, so I hope that it continues. Also, K-pop club. I loved being in K-pop club. It was truly an amazing, amazing time. It made me feel like a family there. Although I didn't know many people when I went there, um, they treated me as if I'd been there the whole entire time, which was great. Um, I'm very, very grateful for them. And also, lastly, but certainly not the least, Wolfpack TV. It was amazing being the director, a co-director of Wolfpack TV. It was... At first, I was really scared, especially when Francesco um, had to leave for one week and I had to take over. I was truly, truly scared. But then after the first day, I realized how many people were there for me and I wasn't alone. Um, everybody was there and everybody did their jobs and they truly helped me through that tough time. So thank you. Thank you so much. And I was so grateful to bring news every day um, to Kasuma Soaks and... A special thanks to Lily for helping me through Wolfpack TV. Um, whenever I had a problem or I couldn't figure something out, she was always there sitting right next to me and helped me out through the toughest times. And she always heard my complaints and my rants. And thank you, thank you, thank you so much for always being there. Um, um, I would also like to thank the staff and the teachers who were there and supported me throughout these four years. So thank you. Thank you all. And um, I hope that the year as next year will be even better than this. So Wolfpack, this is going to be my last show of the year and of Wolfpack TV as a whole. And this is my senior goodbye video. Hi, my name is Hara Sakib. I'm a videographer, editor and anchor for Wolfpack TV. And this is my senior goodbye. My favorite memory of high school is when I went to TwitchCon back in September with one of my best friends, Nico, from second grade. Um, it was the first time where I paid for something really big, like a trip. Of course, my dad helped me with it, but um, I left school for three a weekend and I didn't do any homework. Uh, and I had probably the most fun in my life at the time. Um, 
I had, my parents went with me. It was just me, my friend, and my sister. My sister really wasn't in the scene. She was doing her own thing. And I met all these inspirational people I looked up to my whole life. And I explored a new city I really hadn't explored, which is San Diego. And it was uh, very fun. I had the time of my life. Uh, I made a lot of good memories there. I took some very iconic pictures, uh, if you know my friends know. Um, it was a life-changing experience because I known people's stories on their come up and how they dealt with the tough obstacles in their life. And to see where they are now being successful on this platform and being in a way better space and thriving and being successful entrepreneurs, successful content creators. Yeah, overall it was just probably one of the most fun that I had in my life. I remember when Mr. Youngs asked me to become part of Wolfpack TV, it was video one. And I know he asked me to join because he saw my final project. I remember my final project was like a LeBron James highlight and I put Dragon Ball Zeke fireballs and stuff like that in it and it was really cool. And I know he liked it because he gave me extra credit on it. And after that, he asked me to join Wolfpack TV and I was like, wow, I would never have thought to ever be on Wolfpack TV. I was actually one of those kids who, who made fun of Wolfpack TV of their stutters and things like that. But then look where I am, I, I joined it and I really enjoyed it. And I take back all the bad things I said because Wolfpack TV is probably one of the greatest things I've done in high school. I remember the first day of Wolfpack TV training camp. It was in summer around August, like early August. And I just came back from my family vacation from New York. I was running off like five hours of sleep and we were supposed to report to school for training. I remember I walked in there and I was awed on the studio and all the equipment. I was like a kid in the candy store when I was in that studio that first day. And when we learned how to use the equipment and how show was going to be, I was also oh excited. Wolfpack TV took my interest in photography and film to levels I would have never thought. It introduced me to people such as Peter McKinnon and Martin Scorsese as people I look up to in the film and photography industry. All my hard work and dedication really made me proud of my accomplishments. And with that, I was nominated for a Wolfpack TV Hall of Fame, which means I will have my name in the studio for the rest of the studio's life. So thank you, Mr. Youngs, and thank you for everyone who believed in me. I would also like to thank the football and basketball team for allowing me and my friends to come film and do photography for your guys' team. Congratulations on your great seasons, and I hope you guys nothing but the best. My first thank you is to Mr. Youngs. Thank you for bringing me into this wonderful program and sparking my interest in film and photography. I owe you so much and thank you for trusting me with big packages such as Senior Awards Night and more important things for our program. You have been a wonderful teacher and thank you for being so upfront with us and loose with us and telling us everything we need to know and being straightforward. When we're doing something wrong, you tell us when we're doing something wrong. And when you want to give us insight, you give us the best insight possible and I appreciate it so much. So thank you. My next thank you is to Mrs. Lante, the business teacher and the computer tech teacher. Ms. Lante, I know I left the business program for Wolfpack TV, but honestly, it was probably one of my best decisions for myself. But um, don't worry, I'm still practicing business in college, and I, I thank you for everything you've done for the business program. And I know you started a new program from the ground up, and now it's thriving, and you have successful people who are going to college studying business under your, under your wings. So thank you so much, Ms. Lante, and I appreciate you. My next thank yous are to Ms. Baird and Mr. Rag. You guys are my first AP teachers and um, I had nothing but fun in your guys' class and you guys taught me a lot. Mrs. Baird, you were really open with us and you told us a lot of things about life and just the world in general. And thank you for making me realize that. And you made me think like an intellectual and you brought more insight to my world and to my mind as a whole. So thank you so much, Ms. Baird. And Mr. Rag, you have been quite an interesting teacher, a very funny teacher, but you also know what you're doing. And I appreciate that. People are scared to take AP Lit, but honestly, it was by far one of the best decisions. People thought it was crazy, but honestly, it was one of the best decisions as a class to take. I remember the first day I walked in and I joined AP Lit late, and I was really nervous to talk to you about the stuff I missed. And I said, hi, Mr. Ag, my name is Hada Sakib, and I transferred to your class. And you said, well, why would you do that? And you started laughing, and uh, that's something I'll never forget because even you and some I thought I was crazy for joining. But uh, honestly, it was the best decision of my life. And thank you for teaching such a great class and a great course. And I wish you nothing but the best, Mr. Rack. Thank you. Mrs. Raisin and Mr. Garcia, I know you guys have a friendly competition on who's the best in the social science department. But uh, uh, Mr. Raisin, sorry, but I have to give it to Mr. Garcia. Uh, he's a really, uh, he's a great teacher and he teaches a great course. 
A lot of people are scared to take APUS, but honestly, APUS was a class that taught me a lot about work ethic and just gave me a lot of fun time in that class. Mr. Garcia was such a great teacher and he was really funny with his jokes that are nonchalant and he always brags about Sonoma State and Sac State being the best college ever. And um, I was really close to your son, Spencer Garcia, who is behind the camera. Um, so thank you, Spencer, and thank you, Mr. Garcia, for all the fun times. And I wish you guys nothing but the best. And to Ms. Raisin, um, AP Econ was a really difficult class for me, but I'm not gonna put that against you because you're a great teacher and you teach a lot and you know what you're doing and you're just a really fun teacher and you try to relate to students as much as you can, which I really appreciate. I'm pretty sure a lot of other students appreciate. So thank you, Ms. Raisin, and thank you for everything you do. To the whole science department, Thank you guys for being such great role models and leaders in the community. And you guys are just a wholesome group of teachers, especially Ms. Henderson and Ms. Johnson. You guys have been my therapists and you guys have been just great teachers overall. Ms. Henderson, I appreciate the fact that you said, if someone's not having a good day, you're not gonna have a good day. And I take that to heart a lot and it means a lot. So thank you for being that, that teacher who cares about everybody regardless of their situation. Thank you science department and I hope you continue to change people's lives as you did mine. To my friends, thank you so much for everything you guys have done. You guys are my role models and you guys made me who I am today and you guys taught me so much about life and just how to be street smart and book smart. So I thank you guys for everything. I wish you guys nothing but success and to thrive in life and to do great things. And now is my closing. As you guys know, this will be my last show of Wolfpack TV and my last segment ever to be in Wolfpack TV. It's been a long ride, I can tell you that much, but I appreciate every step I did and I took this whole high school year. And my final tips to people in high school, make every moment count. I cannot stress how much I missed out on a lot of Make as many memories as you can possible. I suggest taking pictures so you can look back and see what you guys were doing at the time. Join as many clubs as possible, even though I was the one who joined clubs, but I know what type of benefit it can give a person now that I see it. Another tip I have for people is to keep a close-knit circle and create a big bond with your friends, a really tight-knit bond with your friends, because that bond will take you a long way as it did for me. And with that said, Wolfpack, this is my goodbye. Thank you CO for all the memories and thank you to everybody who helped me throughout my journey in high school. I'm Hada Sakib. Goodbye Wolfpack. Good morning 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 Wolfpack. We're here with your morning announcements. Remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. <laughs>